So hi, welcome to the part of the tutorial series. In this part, we would implement collision in 2D. Now, I've already actually typed everything out because it's quite, well, it took me some time to figure out basic because it's quite, well, it's not complicated, it's just a little bit confusing sometimes. So basically, um, in your update method, I've added a new for loop underneath uh, the, the line that we create our delete array. So, and this will iterate through all of the rocks in the rock array. Now, first we have an if statement inside of that, inside of that for loop. And then if statement will check for collision between, uh, between our, our player rocket and, uh, and the rock in the array. So, and I've made this method. It's called check for collision and make sure to uh, to also declare it inside of, inside of the header file. And this will check for the collision now. What this basically does, it now draw this out for you. Now draw this out for you. <clears throat> so basically, see we have a rock, uh, or rock sprite and our ball sprite. Now, when we go into the center, that the origin is in the center now. Um, when we say dot x, so, so when we get the position dot x and we add square size, so added by two, we now are actually at this point, so at the right bond. And the same goes for this, but here we, we get the left ball, so this here now. Um, if all of these are true, this will evaluate to false and there is no collision. Only when, when all of them are false, these two are colliding. Okay, this, this is actually quite simple, it's just kind of confusing I find. But uh, okay, so um, next up, I have an, then a for loop in that array, and this will check for collision between um, the balls and the and the, the rocks. So, and um, what this will do, this will will add uh, both both sprites to the the lead array if they collide, and in that for loop, I've added a if statement, and this will basically um, check whether um, whether the sprite is a rock or an uh, or an ball and delete it out of the appropriate array. So it just gets the velocity of x because all of the all of the balls have positive have positive velocity and all of the uh, rocks have negative velocity. So if this evaluates the false, it means that we are dealing with a uh, rock and I'll put the lead the rock out of this uh, array or out of this array and make sure to put here two pointers. Okay, so it's actually quite simple and when we run it we get our rocks and we can shoot them and they disappear and if one hits a rocket, so that one it also disappears, okay? So that's it for now, and yeah, bye.